Like an admiral inspecting his fleet, Phil Gold prepares his truck for a voyage out on the open road. Yeah, breaker one nine, this here it's a daily road. exercise Gould has been doing for the last four decades. An exercise that's helped Gould log more than three million miles. Three million miles driving a big rig across the country. And he's never once had an accident. You have to like read the traffic as you go, and I guess that just comes with experience. It's a record he's proud of, but one that hasn't come easily. I've seen quite a few things. On a recent trip around the Beltway. You see how short he cut me? Our cameras catch drivers making dangerous decisions. They simply aren't aware. Like there's a car right there alongside of me. He's been there for the past two or three miles. He doesn't even realize I can't see him except for those spot mirrors. Gould speeds up to get the truck out of his blind spot, avoiding a potentially dangerous situation. But the driver of the truck doesn't cooperate. And minutes later, he's back, sitting in Gould's blind spot once again. And that same pickup's been right there, I'd say, for the past 10 miles. I've changed lanes, I've varied my speed up and down, and he's like a pace car, he's just still right back there. It's a problem, trucking experts say, that's getting worse as interstate congestion increases. In many cases, it's not the truck drivers uh, causing the crash. It's really the, the unsafe behaviors and actions of the, of the motorists. Dave Oshecki is with the American Trucking Association and says professional truck drivers are getting a bad rap when it comes to safe driving. It's a problem just driving on the interstate system. Um, cars not recognizing the need for that safety cushion because there is a difference in stopping distance between cars and trucks. Think about this the next time you're tempted to cut in front of a truck on the interstate. The average length for a big rig truck to slam on the brakes and come to a stop is the length of a football field. They whip in and out, they, they lose sight of the fact that uh, large trucks need a lot of room. Back on the Beltway now, our cameras catch more drivers putting themselves and Gould in danger. You notice how they're tailgating, they're all bunched up together. There's another one going on the shoulder, making a U-turn. That's the same one. He's looking for somewhere to make an illegal U-turn. Common sense on the road is one thing, but highway experts say there are other rules of the road to remember when you're near a truck, such as remembering not to tailgate and stay out of any blind spots that a trucker might face. Remember, drivers can't see all the way around the truck the same way you can in a car, especially on the right side of the truck. Finally, the best way to avoid a rear-end collision with a truck, always make sure you can see a truck's headlights in your rearview mirror. It's not worth saving a second. Take a chance on losing your life just to save a second. It's, it's just not worth it. Learning to share the road, experts say, may save a life. Steve Shenaby, Fox 5 News. A little bit of life in someone else's shoes. One final point here. Experts say don't ever pass a truck on the right side. It can be dangerous because their blind spot can extend across three lanes of traffic. For 25